Good morning, Modersteaders. It doesn't matter what day of the week it is. The chickens need to get fed twice a day. Oh, Mr. Figaro, you're getting into everything, aren't you? Yeah, wherever the action is, Wherever the action is, there you are, huh? Pluto heard me getting the chicken food ready. She's ready to go out. Ready to go outside? Go run around? The celery is looking nice. It's so funny the color it makes it looks like under the light. It's nice and green there. It's a funky color there. Let's give it some water. I was kind of excited yesterday. For the first time all winter, I took the plow off my truck. That hasn't come off since I put it on. It's crazy. This morning's kind of cold. It's seven degrees out. I'm supposed to get up to, I think, 28 or 29 today, so not warm enough for the sap to flow. And tomorrow it's not gonna get warm enough for sap to flow. But later on during the week, we're supposed to be seeing the 40s and the 50s and cold at night. Fingers crossed the sap might start flowing this week. People keep leaving in the comments that it's kind of early for tapping. And I think yes and no, it's a little early, but you never know when it's going to start. The weather around here is so crazy. One day it could be 30, 20, 10 for a high, and the next day it could be 40. So who knows? So we're ready for it whenever it begins. I don't want to miss out on the good part. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Andy, I like your hairdo. I bet the chickens can't wait for New York City to get moved around on green pasture again. New York City! New York City! Frozen water. It's crazy this time of the year. Can you hear the birds chirping? They're saying it's springtime. Bring on the good weather. Good morning, pigs. You girls look nice and comfy. They don't even want their morning cup of coffee. Well, it'll be there when you're ready. I brought Starbucks to you and you're not even going to get up? Man, you girls have it made. Yeah, you. Nice and cozy. <laughs> that bird tweeting gives me faith. Spring will be here before you know it. Oh, we're going to get some more snow and some more cold in between, but we're on the downhill side now. Let's go inside and cook some breakfast. Don't be mad at me, though. You might be mad. I forgot to take out the bacon last night. <sighs> so no bacon to go with our eggs. It's still in the freezer. Man, I hate when I do that. Once we get the dishes put away, I'll cook breakfast. How's that sound? Okay. I forgot to take the bacon out. Don't be mad. Breakfast bacon. I know, it's in the freezer. We'll have to take it out so we can have some tomorrow. Huh? Huh? What? Huh? What did you say? I said I forgot to take the bacon out of the freezer last night. Uh oh. I know, right? <laughs> now we're just gonna have eggs with no bacon. No. We'll have to get some out for tomorrow.
Do you want one egg or two eggs? You want toast? It is so nice that the chickens are laying eggs again. We've been getting anywhere from five to eight a day. Look at all that snow. You know where the septic cover is. The animals are patiently waiting. That figure is so shiny. Right, Figaro's got nice shiny fur from all the eggs. On the yolk. I like how they sh they are good with each other. Mm, they are when it comes to shearing. Most dogs won't do that. Yeah. That one went right through the other one. It took forever, it felt like, just a different wood. It doesn't fit. It does, it's snug though. I didn't want a huge hole. It's just getting the plug in through and then wait. And you still have that huge hole. After 17 years, our other toaster finally pooped out. We had to get a new one. We went with a four slicer, so we don't want to be moving it in and out every time we need it. So Why do we do four slices? So we can have more toast quickly for our BLTs come this summer. So we're hoping by having it set up in here, it'll make it more convenient for us to use. 
put it on a power strip so when we're done using it we can shut it off. We don't gotta bend down and unplug it every time. Is this a race? No, we gotta do it nice. Oh. It's a serious thing. Serious. I thought we were racing. No racing. High five. See yourself. High five. <laughs> Look at her in the face. <laughs> High five. We got them all done. That was a pain in the butt job. Yeah, that's why it's get put off. Yeah. <laughs> so now we just gotta let them dry. We can put them together maybe tomorrow and get our new shelf set up. You need to get you all your water. One and a half cups of water. I got my bullion and I got my pulled pork. Comes with scissors. It says meanwhile, I'm going to want to avoid it. I don't need, even need scissors. You don't no. need those? No, it's got a tear mark in it. Did you look? I'm using a glass container for you. Does this have a cup mark? All right, while I'm waiting for my water to boil and my pork and water mixture to rehydrating, let's get the pan warmed up. I'm use my, gonna use the chow mein noodles. I guess I gotta break them in half. Gonna add some garlic to our avocado oil. Strain our pork and broth. We're gonna save everything. Let this saute up and get the flavor of the garlic. That does smell good. Cook for 30 seconds. 30 seconds. And then we're going to add in... You want to help, Louis? Tomato and onion. That's different. Mmm. All chopped up, ready to go.
Rice vinegar. You put that all in right now? Yep. What does rice vinegar do? I was. Mm. Smells good. Smells so, so good. Ready for lunch? Yeah. It's like we went to a restaurant. Ready? Mm -hmm. It's even healthier than a restaurant. It is, and it smells delicious. And cheaper. Does that smell good? Looks good. Instant pie, you can make a big batch of rice. We've had a lot of people asking about t shirts and more t shirts. We have our Alumna Acre logo shirts, but we were thinking if the modern studies want to come up with a couple of different ideas and designs for our t shirts, we'll vote on them, and whatever design gets voted on the most, we'll send out and get printed and made t shirts on. If you have an idea, send us a photo, whether it's of your drawing whether it's email or Instagram or Facebook, share it with us and if we get enough in, we'll compile them up and we'll have everybody vote on them. It'll be kind of fun. Yeah, we'll pick a few and then vote. Yeah? Yeah. So, hope you enjoyed today's video. We had a good day. Tomorrow we're gonna start with our, tomorrow we're gonna start our seeds for our tomatoes and peppers. That'll be fun. Are we putting a celery in a bigger block yet or no? The celery is not, are not ready for a no. bigger block yet. Another couple more days probably. Yeah. We could if we have time. Well, not if it's not ready. Well, I mean, we can. We just don't have to yet, I should no. say. Well, we'll we see. could. We'll see what we have for time tomorrow. So if you're not already subscribed to the channel, now's a great time to subscribe. While you're down there, ring the bell. Turn on notifications. YouTube may or may not let you know if we uploaded a video or went live. So a couple of things to do. One is to remember we upload a video every day at 6 a.m. Eastern Time. And then the other thing is go over to our website, lumnaacres.com. There's a link in the description down below. And sign up for our newsletter. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Hi. Where's Figaro? Surprised he didn't pop up in the video. He's uh, sleeping. I think you're right. He is sleeping. <laughs> Hey, you're disappointing us. What are you doing? That's not where he was, though. He must have just moved. He was down there. You too. Look at um, you guys. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, the pretty puppy dog. Yeah. Yeah, you're the good puppy dog. You're the good puppy dog. And it's our fresh kitty cat. <laughs>